YouTube, Biker Mike here, back with another video. This video is going to be on a new to me 2015 GMC Sierra and a little issue I had with it. So the issue I was having was the USB ports weren't powered up and weren't charging my phone, which I did a little bit of research online and I saw a couple things where people disconnected the battery to reset them to get them working. Now there are issues with them, but luckily for me, it was just a real simple fix that I kind of figured out by accident. So the first thing I thought to do obviously was to look for the location of the fuse and check the fuse. And the location for the USB fuse is on the passenger side of the truck right here up inside the dash. So I just used one of these little tools here, pry tools to help pull the cover off. Covers right there. I just kind of pried it off and pulled it off. These little tools are really handy. If you're working on a car, you should have these little plastic pry tools. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can get these. If you want to purchase them, that'll really help me out. Helps out the channel. So Basically, I just looked for the USB fuse on the a little schematic here. So the USB fuse was number 27, which is right up there, which is this guy right here. Now it's actually a double fuse, so it does a couple circuits. So you just need to make sure you get the proper fuse for that. But all I did was I pulled it out to check it and then put it back in and then went back over to the USB port and sure enough, the power was working on it. So I don't know what happened there. All I did was take it out, put it back in. After I checked it, obviously the fuse was good and that must have reset something in the computer or the head unit. I'm not sure what controls it, but the USB power ports all started working again. So it was really that simple just for me. Hopefully that helps you out if you have this issue. Like I said, it was, uh, I did a little bit of research on it and I read a couple places where people just disconnected the battery and not reset it. But obviously this was a lot easier to do. So if your USB power port's not working, just give this a try, pull that fuse out, put it back in. Hopefully that solves your issue with it. It worked for me. It was really that simple. So there you go, guys. A real simple, quick, right to the point video. Let me know if that worked for you or if it turned out to be something else. I'd like to find out about that. And if you like this video, like the video. And until the next time, Biker Mike out.